Hello guys, case number 11 here. Feel free to pause the video and try by yourself to diagnose this lesion. Of course, that's a radiolucent, well-limited lesion with corticated borders, of course, and that's a 2D OPG, so we can see actually superimpositions, but the lesion is actually unilocular, okay? So we can see that the mesial limit is here at the body of the mandible, and the lesion is extending up to the sigmoid notch, okay? Taking over all the ramus, even the angle of the mandible, with displacement of the mandibular canal and even thinning of the inferior cortex and of the uh, alveolar crest, okay? With expansion, we can even see the expansion here. And I saw the CT and there was buccal and lingual expansion as well. Root resorption, but not tooth displacement, okay? Which is more common for ameloblastoma. The differential diagnosis list here would be OKC and then unicystic ameloblastoma, okay? So this was actually an OKC because we already saw the results of the biopsy.